Yo, what's up guys? I'm gonna be showing you my double bunker base. I know there are some more efficient ones than this, but the layout of this base is what I'm comfortable with and is what I could build quickly if I had the materials for it. So first off, you're gonna wanna put the twig for the roof bunker in the dirt on a little hill somewhere so that it doesn't get flamed out. And then the second part of the bunker will be right up there with those raised foundations. And then the rest of the floor plan will go as shown. In the front over here, we will add our airlock and furnace smelting area along with our entrance to the first bunker. And then we will add our airlock and walls. I like to build my bases with the shell first. So usually I'll build a two by one or a two by two and then gather enough materials to build the shell. And then I will build the inside of the base later on. I do like expandable bases, but the issue with that is you have to place twig everywhere beforehand, making sure that it all fits and everything. And if you just build the shell right away, and upgrade everything then you know you're good to go now we're going to add the exterior walls and then we'll finish off the ceiling here in a bit So we'll just hop up on the roof and one thing I need to point out is make sure that this is exactly as shown here because if you place a floor tile a half floor lower than what we placed ours at in the middle over the opening there you will not be able to open the first part of the bunker which we definitely want to have access to and then the honeycombing on the inside here is up to you but it does protect you from rocket raiders causing splash damage but that will decrease the cost of the roof quite a bit next we'll add in our stairs if we need them and then we'll start building the inside of the front of the base Furnishings are dependent upon your needs, so I usually like to have a lot of furnaces and that's what I turned this area into over here. I'd recommend placing double doors or garage doors everywhere on the inside here and just having sheet metal doors in the front just so it's um, easily accessible on the inside. If you're having issues getting up and down, you could place a box in here and it'll make it a little easier to jump around, but that's completely up to you. Also, side tip, we're going to be adding our research table and workbench over here, but the wall to the right of the research table, make sure the bottom half is pointing away from you. The soft side is pointing away from you, but the half wall above the sheet metal one over there, make sure that it is pointing towards you, the soft side, because the top part is outside of the base and the bottom part is protecting the inside of the base, the bunker part of it. Now we're going to add some walls to our honeycomb, which you could turn into the half wall, quarter wall thing if you need more space for like a workbench or something. You could place a triangle in there like I showed if you want some extra protection on these higher foundations But it's not necessary because most of the time people are probably not going to go in there Next we're going to add our TC room off to the right You could place this after you build the shell if you're not building the entire base right away Just goes in here and how you build it is up to you I would probably go like this and then place two large boxes here And then I'd throw a garage door on the top of it, but the problem with this that some people might not like is the boxes do stick through, and there's a chance that the bag could drop on the outside if you have them locked. So what you could do is just put a garage door back there, and then the boxes will fit in there, and then you can place a window on the outside. I like to use windows in case I don't have armored doors, or I'm not able to take Heli or Bradley or whatever, and this is just a safe measure if I'm not able to um, get armored doors within the like initial build of this base. So 
So when placing the garage door in here, if you choose to do it this way, um, you'll need to make sure that the lip is facing you. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time accessing the door. Um, even here, you can see I had some troubles and I have to get rid of this box on the top. So if you do it this way, you're going to have a half box less worth of space. And then on the other side over here, we will add four more large boxes. I'm sure you're able to add some small boxes in here if you place it just perfectly. But since we're putting windows on the front of it, we want to um, kind of just ignore that because we're probably not going to need any more space than this as a solo or duo. But if you do, you could just substitute the window that I'm about to place in the front for a garage door. And then, you're, then you are able to place some more large boxes down in here other than four of them. And then of course we will put our embrasures on the outside to reduce splash damage. If they are rocketing in here trying to break both of these and they don't hit just the right spot, it's going to destroy the embrasures before the window or they're just going to end up going through the walls regardless. And then our level three will go over here once we get that, and of course throw two boxes underneath it. place your sleeping bags down in here so that you're able to exit the bunker once if you uh, close it off for the night this is how you will open the bunker back up your roof will go right here and then you'll just break the twig below it if you want to upgrade it to wood to be safer that is also an option and if you're going to upgrade anything to armored uh, watch what I upgrade because this is the minimal amount that you will need to upgrade to fully protect this part of the base without you know having a crazy cost also side note you might want to do this before putting down any window frames as well otherwise it's going to be pretty near impossible to get into some of these parts of the base. What this will do is protect you from the outside. If people are coming in through your walls, then they will have a more difficult time getting into there. If you haven't seen this before, you just close off this bunker like this, and then you would keep some wood or metal frags in a chest like the one we have here or in a furnace off to the side, whatever you have out here, and then upgrade it. And this is where you will fall asleep. So make sure all of your important loot is not on your body. It is in the main bunker part of the base. Also, I didn't miss a door frame right there, which I somehow neglected to notice while building this. So make sure you get that other door frame down. That'd be a good spot to place a single door frame if you uh, want to add some armored doors later on. So this is the cost of the base if you didn't see it in the thumbnail or at the start of the video. It's relatively cheap and this is definitely expandable honeycomb wise. If you wanted to add a second floor I would just add it to the left of the main entrance of the base. That way you are not um, making the base weaker in any way by adding it somewhere else. Just make sure that it goes near the airlock of your base depending on how far you're going to expand out because this would be like a good core of a big base definitely but it is also suitable for a solo or duo but that's all i got for you guys today before the video ends i just want to let you know tomorrow or today actually depending on when i upload this video i'm going to be doing a little zerg so make sure you uh, click the link in my description join my discord and around 7 p.m u.s central time i'm going to be live streaming and doing a zerg with all of the people in my discord that want to join in hopefully it's going to be crazy i'm expecting it to be but thank you guys for watching that's all i got for you guys today and make sure you go check out my stream. I'll be streaming around 7 p.m. tonight. Catch you guys next time.